Hello there. Tom here from the Runtester with another shoe review. This time, me and Nick are going to be taking a look at the Brooks Ghost 14 running shoe. Let's take a look. The Brooks Ghost 14 comes in at £120 or $130. It weighs in at 283 grams or 9.9 .9 ounces for men in a size 8. The drop is 12 millimeters and for us, it fits true to size. The Ghost 14 is the latest version of Brooks' popular daily shoe lineup designed to offer comfort and cushioning over daily training miles. That focus on comfort comes from a soft, plush upper alongside a thick midsole that's now made from 100% DNA loft cushioning. That's Brooks' popular foam that's built to offer a balance between responsiveness, durability and comfort. The shoe features 3D printing on the soft upper to add structure, whilst the outsole incorporates a generous level of rubber to help improve durability and traction on the road in different conditions. So the Ghost 14 fit true to size for me. It's the same size I've worn in kind of all brick shoes I've ever tested, really ranging from like the Hyperion Racing Flat all the way to things like the Glycerin. Um, uh, it's a reasonably roomy toe box around the front. Uh, it's a bit tighter around kind of the side, but not in an uncomfortable way. So it's a nice stretchy fabric. The fit for me is absolutely fine. Um, I think it's actually a very comfortable shoe. It fit true to size for me. It feels like there's a lot of space in there to keep your feet comfortable um it's not the widest of shoes but it's also not particularly narrow either so it's, it's just kind of a a nice conventional fit that um i've had no issues with at all So I've been using the Brooks um, Ghost 14 over the last kind of few weeks of marathon training and I took them actually away on holiday as well and I've been using them for kind of lots of quite big, fairly big mileage weeks for me and doing kind of a lot of easy and steady running in them, kind of thing that really they should eat up and and overall, yeah, I, I have enjoyed running in them, I just think that you've ended up kind of falling in between a couple of categories for me and not really being all out comfortable like some shoes are while still being not quite as versatile as the better kind of all-rounders on the market. Um, I think I first run out straight out of the box to come for 10 kind of steady miles running you know, 10 miles in around an hour and some strides and by the end of the run I could kind of feel that they were a little bit kind of ponderous heavy on the legs um, compared to some other options um, you know there's not a huge amount of kind of bounce or rebound here or a very snappy transition it's all kind of solid cruisery I'd say is how I describe it like it's basically to me feels like a very slightly quicker version of the Brooks Glycerin which is obviously a shoe design for all out comfort I also did kind of a long session in them where I was running four sets of 4k but again not, a, not like an express pace kind of again a steady pace um, kind of just a little bit quicker than six minute miling and again they were they were fine like I had no problems with them but I certainly don't feel like they're very lively or energetic or particularly exciting uh, underfoot and I do feel like the end of those kind of longer runs if you are trying to up the pace like I do a lot of kind of progression runs from easy to steady there's not the perfect shoe to pick up the pace at the end of that kind of run and then when I do kind of pure easy efforts in them they, I mean they are comfortable I've got no real problems on the comfort front like you don't need to have a shoe that's more comfortable than this but there are shoes that are more comfortable than this things like brooks glycerin and the nike invincible are designed for kind of more out you know they are more all out easy cruisers and they do that a little bit better than the ghost does so it's not like a slow slow shoe but it is quite big it's um it's slightly hefty and it's not riding like a wild ride it's just a really solid shoe that i guess if you are a big fan of the ghost line you probably will kind of already know what to expect from it um, and i just think maybe uh, now it's in the 14th edition of the shoe that the market's moved on and there are some more exciting options out there. I've ran about 60k so far in the Ghost 14 and that's varied between sort of 10k training runs up to half marathon uh, training runs with a bit of faster running thrown into those runs to see how it how it does over um, at higher speeds. And I have found it to be a completely acceptable shoe. Um, I've not disliked wearing the shoe for those sort of runs, but then again, I've not really enjoyed it either. Um, I think it, it reminds me of shoes that I probably wore about 10 years ago where it's a very conventional fit, it's a very conventional feel. There's not any major performance sort of benefits that you can feel from the shoe, which isn't a bad thing by any stretch of the nation. It, it feels like a very reliable, comfortable shoe that... Um, if you're used to wearing the Go series, you're not going to be surprised by what this shoe does. It's still got that sort of conventional feel. It feels like a very stable, comfortable shoe when you're running around in it. Um, but then again, it doesn't feel like it does anything other than that. I think for me, the um, I'm a big fan of the Glycerin 19 shoe. Um, and that shoe is a lot 
has a bit more softness to it. It feels a little bit more cushioned when you're running. It's a lot more, for me, a lot more enjoyable to run in. It just feels like a really nice, easy run shoe um, that you can go a little bit faster in. The Brooks um, goes 14. It's got a similar sort of level of cushioning in it, but that cushioning for me feels a lot harder. Um, but it also, the hardness that doesn't really equate to running faster. So it doesn't feel particularly more responsive than the Glycerin for me. Uh, it just feels like it hasn't got a lot more, uh, the sort of level of cushioning that you get in that, that, that shoe. Um, but I would say that I only 70 kilograms. And sometimes when I try these sort of harder shoes um, that have cushioning in them, I don't really get the benefits of that that cushioning so for a heavier person you might feel a bit more sort of cushioning and um softness from this midsole that i don't get um but overall i have found it to be a completely acceptable shoe for running sort of training miles in and slower runs um but likewise it's no it's not going anywhere near my sort of favorite daily training shoe or favorite all-rounder shoe so fine if that's what you're looking for nothing exciting or nothing particularly exceptional about the ghost 14 for me for me as a runner the um, ghost 14 falls in between kind of useful categories it's not an all-out comfortable shoe that i'd want to take out for loads and loads of easy runs um compared to some others like it is comfortable but it's not as comfortable as something like yeah like i say nike invincible or um brooks glycerin you know pure kind of kind of easy shoes and then it's not really versatile enough for me to use as a daily trainer i just feel like i'm doing my kind of easy to steady runs my steady runs even into kind of long sessions where i'm going reasonably quick uh it doesn't really have to pick up the kind of fast responsive kind of turnover that i like in shoes and you can really get now from shoes that are still comfortable but are just a fair bit more versatile than the ghost talk think about things like you know the hocker on on a Mac 4, the um, New Balance Rebel version 2, Puma's kind of Velocity Nitro, in fact the whole kind of Nitro range with that kind of super critical foam they have in there just provides a livelier ride than the Ghost while being a little, while being just as comfortable for me. Even maybe the Saucony Ride I think has got slightly more pace in it than the Brooks Ghost, although I think that's a fairly comparable shoe for me actually in terms of where it sits as more tilted towards kind of easy running than kind of tempo or you know certainly interval stuff. And what slightly disappoints me is that we tested the Brooks Aurora recently uh, which has a new version of Brooks's DNA loft foam which you know this has the older version in the midsole and yeah the feel of that shoe is just a lot more exciting the foam is lighter it's more responsive it's still very comfortable it's the kind of like feel that I think would work perfectly in the ghost line and I'm really hoping that Brooks will bring that new version of DNA loft foam to the ghost but I was hoping it would be in this edition I guess it might now be in the next one or maybe they won't at all and we'll keep it in a separate kind of Aurora line but either way I think that the ghost does now suffer for the fact that shoe exists and I'd be looking at seeing what Brooks does with that phone rather than investing in another ghost yeah overall this is a pretty solid shoe uh, it's a nice robust kind of um, fairly comfortable not entirely slow shoe that can do you know a decent job of a few different things but there are certainly better options out there and uh, I'd expect uh, slightly more from the ghost line in the future um, hopefully with that new phone so my verdict on the ghost 14 is that it's an old classic reliable shoe i think if you've tried a ghost shoe before you're not going to be particularly surprised by the shoe you're going to be happy that it's still got the same sort of feel and the same sort of um, benefits that you're probably used to getting from that shoe which are reliability and a nice level of sort of upper comfort um, and to be honest you won't be disappointed in it but I think um, there's a lot of good shoes out there at the moment, a lot of shoes that have a lot more performance features in them, a lot of sort of technically advanced shoes when it comes to the midsole foams that you can get. And I just don't think this really competes with those if that's what you're looking for. So if it's reliability you want and you want a shoe that's tried and tested over many years of um, daily running and sort of all rounder training miles for people, then I think it's going to be a, a good bet for you. But for the price, um, I just don't think it really competes with some of the better shoes out there at the moment, especially um, Brooks's Glycerin 19 shoe, which I think is far superior to this. And I enjoy running it a lot more. It's actually my uh, favorite sort of cushioned, easy run trainer at the moment. Um, and then other shoes as well around there, like the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 V11 is just a a considerably more versatile shoe which you can run faster in and it does feel like it's helping you run faster um but for me the ghost 14 just doesn't have the benefits that i expect from new shoes that are coming out at the moment um but it's a reliable shoe and it does the job so you won't be disappointed but um you also won't be surprised or excited
So that's it from us. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon. It really does make a difference. And uh, it means that the more subscribers we get, the more videos we can make. And we love making these videos. Don't forget to check the channel out for all the other reviews we've got from the latest trail and road shoes, as well as all the latest headphones and running tech like new watches out there that you can get at the moment. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Thank you.